Good morning. Oh, family. So, I stayed for it. Now I'm on my way to go try to locate some birds. So, generally, you want to try to do your pre scouting, you know, about a week to two weeks before your intended uh, turkey hunt, is from what I'm understanding. So, did not know this, but. Uh, they don't move too much during the, yeah, I mean, they don't move too much uh, in one day, but they can move pretty far from from where you may or uh, may not have seen them roosting or, or just frolicking about, I guess you can call it, out in the field. So today, I'm going to go and attempt to actually find some birds by locating. Um, weather conditions are not favorable. It's only 35 degrees out and it is windy. So, but birds got to get up. Birds are starting to strut and all that jazz. So I'm hoping and I'm praying and I'm hoping that I can get one to gobble on film for you guys. If not, at least, at least see them. Because they, they will have to move, no doubt. But I, you know, obviously today's goal is to help you guys find birds and locate them. I'm going to do it with this owl hooter. I'm going to go into a section of timber and try my best to do it. So, so the purpose of the owl hooter is usually when when they either hear a crow call or an owl hoot, uh, turkeys will go off. They'll usually gobble on roost or even not after roost. So let's see if we can't get one to get going. I know of an area that they should be in. I should be able to get a gobble. But if not, I got another spot that we get to go to in the morning or tomorrow morning. Or we might be able to slip on down there uh, before I got to go to work yet today. So let's get it. I'm in the spot. It's just they're just not here today. And I don't know if maybe they were here and I fair and, and I spooked them. Or if they're just not gobbling today. And it is very possible to where you can find a, a turkey that just refuses to gobble. Today season started. Um, last during the weekend it was youth. But I got a feeling as as it warms up today, because it was like I said, it was really cold this morning. It was 35 degrees. As it warms up today, they're going to be sitting in these fields here. They're going to be sitting in these trees. They're going to be sitting in those fields, sunning and strutting and yelping and gobbling. So we'll have to see what tomorrow brings. So I'll try to get a. I don't know if I'm going to come back to this spot. I've, I've hunted this before. That's why I'm here. So, I mean, I, I, I know there's turkeys here. They're just not here today.
sorry, gobble. I just walked all of that. I'm literally parked right over here. And these owls over here just started going nuts. And when we pulled out, because I'm literally parked, I'm going right back towards the truck right now. It is right in the timber, right by the truck. And I thought I'd seen one. I got out of I lost it. I found a stump, so I figured it was a stump. There's a gobbler inside that right over there. So I'm gonna get closer and see if we can get him to go again. Because those owls that were hooting, they got him going. I figured, why call if the owls are gonna do it for me? See if I can't do it again. It's right in there somewhere. Oh boy, he's in there. He is in there. Alright, let's do it again. Make a move. I want to get this before the sun's down. Excuses of gobbles, but I did get him to go. I hope you guys heard it. I'm gonna try to. He's in this temper right here. I'm well to bet if I come here tomorrow morning, which I'm probably going to, I could probably get him fired up again. But what I'm trying to do right now is I want to see if I can see him in the tree roosted. Cause he might be roosted again. That last one sounded like he was a ways away. He was nowhere near where we were the first time. I'm literally, there's the truck. He's on the other property now. He was right in here. He went across the road for that first gobble that I heard of him. I was over there, just started going nuts. I'm gonna get him light up again with this. I hope you guys can hear it.
He's hammering now, babe. He's right over there. He's right in that corner. And that's public. So all I'm doing to do this really crappy gobble that I'm doing that he's answering back to, I mean, I don't know if you could see it, but it, he's right back in this corner back here. And all I'm doing is I'm just taking the, this call and I'm saying tucka 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 but I put it in front of my lip and down by my bottom lip and I'm compressing it just slightly so it comes out like this <laughs> that was pretty damn good so nothing fancy I mean in order to really locate a bird like we just did that was the purpose of this video was to locate a bird get one to gobble you know I went out this morning and, and I tromped all around with the owl hooter um, with my yelper after it became daylight <laughs> and nothing, no sign. The, the birds just weren't there. So as you've seen, I, I took all the open field as I possibly could and owl hooted and yelped and just listened. For the most part, I just listened out there. But when I got out there and those owls started going off over there, that fired him up and he was right in here by the truck. Unfortunately, by the time that I got up here, he had already gone across the road and where he wants to go roost. I mean, he's right back in that corner and that's where he'll be in the morning. Um, you know, so I mean, long story short, locate your bird, come back the following morning because he's going to stay in that tree. He's going to stay in that area. Um, I mean, it, it, time check right now is, it's 8.20, Monday, April 13th. So, Iowa turkey hunting, let's go get him. All I'm doing with that is you just cup it, just like this, and you go, and you just roll your tongue on it, on the last one. I'm not the greatest owl hooter, but it, it got him to gobble at least once. Before we educate that bird, which is very possible, just so you know, and we'll get out of here and we'll see you guys in the morning. Like a bird on a Till then. I absolutely, I absolutely, I'm just sitting here. I got I absolutely agree with. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. I just came out of my boot. In the you and me. My foot is barely we meant inside to be the boot. In the great outdoors. Forever free. out like
practice. Some time. <laughs> We just hold just the leg of that, just so I can see. Me. To see the truth. So nothing fancy, folks. Okay, it's blurry. Is it blurry? From a distance. You're walking too far back. Forward. Okay. Right there. Thank <laughs> you.